does all the jobs that you're after. Taking a look at our videotape here, you can see that it's going to go after little jars, big jars. It's also going to go after pop top jars, not to mention little hot sauce jars or, oh, I don't know, nail polish jars. All those things are quickly and easily taken care of because this is going to give you the leverage that you would not have otherwise. You don't need a lot of hand strength to make this work. And the best part is it comes in colors and should it get a little messy, well, you can just pop it right into the top rack of your dishwasher. There's no problem, and as I like to say, no big whoop. We are super excited to have this for you, but the four pay will go away at the end of day today. And since we introduced this item, over 193,000 of them have been ordered. So we've got some great, great colors for you. QVC price is only $25. Imagine taking five gadgets out of your drawer and donating them and replacing it with one. You know that drawer that doesn't close because the spatula is always in the way? That one. All right, so here is the black. I have it for you in red. Don't forget green. Here's aqua. I have it for you in gray. This is called brick red. Beside that is the violet and then the tangerine. We are more limited in the violet. 800 remain here, and the tangerine, only 500 remain. These are going to go quickly. Let's welcome in Chef Jeremy Parker, who Hi. is here to take care of five different jobs with one gadget. That's right. And Kuhn Recon is a Swiss company that Swiss engineered this to do five, any type of jar that you want to open. They're a problem solution company. They solve this problem. Now, all it does is it uses three points of contact. So all you have to do when you're opening up a jar, instead of banging it against the side of the table, is to just squeeze this on, twist it, and it pops the lid right off. There's it's that one. simple. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, these pull tabs, instead of breaking your fingernail, use this little bird's beak right here, that little parrot's beak, we call it, and just pull that back. You don't cut yourself, you don't hurt your fingernail. Number three, small bottles, like uh, hot sauce or nail polish, just put this in the center little circle, twist it. You don't, and even the plastic is still on there. That's right. You don't have to take the plastic off. It takes it off. Number four, this is called a church key, just a bottle opener. We all have one of those, so replace that for one unit. And then last but not least, these uh, screw tops, one, two, and three liter bottles all share the same size top. This here goes on top. You just twist it. It'll break it, break that seal, that is, and mm -hmm. pull that right off. Look at that. All five in one, and it stores flat in your drawer. 500 of these are out the door, and I will tell you, another 500 people are on the phone lines. This is a perfect reimagined product because what we're going to do is we're going to take five things out of your drawer, or at least four things, right? Because only most of us have a jar opener. We try to hand it off to somebody else to open it up, right? So this is what it's all about. Five different jobs, one gadget, and I've got colors for you. Now, here's the black. This is the color I have in my kitchen. If you're after red, you're not alone. It's our most popular color tonight. Beside that is a beautiful green. Then I have aqua. Here it is in the gray. This color is called brick red. And then getting limited is violet. I have 700 left in the violet. If you want tangerine, I have fewer than 400 remaining. A moment ago, that was 500. Yeah. These are going very, very quickly. So now, no matter what you're opening, maybe it's a, a, a bottle of barbecue sauce that has been opened before. Yeah. And now it's like cement. The there, same would be true of what? Like maple syrup or honey? Maple syrup, ketchup. I mean, any kind of those uh, uh, sauce jars, you know, when you, they're that harder. That sugar in it. <laughs> thank you. That has sugar in it. So again, you just lock this on, twist it. It's so easy to do. If you have the same one here with the with the plastic on, you don't have to try and pick that thing. We've all done that. Do this with the with the plastic on, with the wrapping on. Lock it on. Give it a twist, and it's that simple. It uses leverage, so the long handle makes this easy to come off. And then you just pull that off. There it is. It even breaks the plastic cover off. The, that is great. That's right. Or you know, our medicines, things that you want to get into. You know, it also be tough. Yeah. Um, mouthwash. Mouthwash bottles. Sure. Or even like this um, uh, cough syrup. Oh, wait, syrup. but you're not done. That's right. Because look at the top of this pain relief. There's a little foil seal. Can you pop through that? Uh, maybe with this little guy right here. Actually, you know who taught, you know who taught me this? Who you taught did. you that? I, I saw did. you do that. <laughs> <laughs> you use that little parrot top and you pop right through the little foil seal. Now you can get into your medicines. How about cold medicine? Cold medicines you have to hold on to and press down on. Again, three points of contact. If you can just turn well, this the is dial. Good stuff. That's nighttime cough. You could use it right there, yeah. Just lock that on, 
press it down and give it a twist and it pops that lid right off. So see that's well, great because that was a lid that you needed to push in at the same time that you were turning it. Now if you were having a little trouble with hand strength sure. and you really really needed some cold medicine, you might be out of luck, right? I've been I've been battling a cold for the last week or so. Oh. That cold medicine has been my friend at night. Woo! Some good stuff. Holds the cough back, helps you sleep. Has a nice cherry flavor. Mm, <laughs> delish. All right, so let's talk to you about this. In fact, we've now taken orders for 1,500 have been spoken for, and 800 people are on the phone lines. 20,000 people are on QVC.com right now shopping. Oh, wow. All right, so I have this for you in the black. Don't miss out on the black if that's going to be an important color to you. Here it is in the red, most popular tonight. Then I've got it for you in the green. This is aqua. Don't forget gray. Brick red, but now if you want violet, I have fewer than 650 remaining. If you want the turquoise, not turquoise, that's tangerine. 300 remain in the tangerine. Tangerine is very different from turquoise. Yeah, I sure love that. that you knew that I knew that. One of my favorites, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and let me just run through all five functions again, Please, real of quick to show you when to get this home. Again, any jar or bottle that you need to open, all you do is just lock it onto the top. I believe it was Archimedes said, give me a lever long enough and I can move the world. So <laughs> you just do that. Or at least a pepperoncini, right? Yeah, or at least open pepperoncinis, right? That's number one. Okay, number two, these guys here, use that little Perix beak to get underneath and then just pull it back towards you and it pops those pull tops off. Number three, these small guys, if it's too small to use the dial on, there's a place right here. This goes in, give that a twist. Really good for that nail you polish as well. I was just going to say, if you got ladies' nail polish and it's like cemented on and you can't get it loose. That's right. This That'll may be the way to go right. about and it. And nail polish remover. Oh, nail polish remover yeah. too, true. And then, of course, uh, a church key, also known as just a regular bottle opener. Pop that off like so. Always nice to have one of those. And then any twist offs. Whether that's soda water, tonic water, pop, soda, one, two, three liter bottles, they all have that universal lid. It takes that off. And it pops the uh, plastic, that silly plastic off. So all of those, and David, it stores flat. Ooh, I smell kitchen. that cola too. Ooh. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Um, this is fantastic. We're getting very busy on our phone lines. Let me encourage all of you, if you're looking to pick one or two of these up, they make great gift ideas, marvelous for home housewarming baskets, great for people who are starting their first apartments, because this is the kind of gadget that replaces so many others in the kitchen. Now, I have it in black. We also have it in red. Beside that is green, then the aqua. Here I've got it for you in gray. This is brick red. This color is called violet with fewer than 500, and finally the tangerine, with fewer than 200 remaining in that tangerine. It's going. 2,500 now ordered in this show. Now, one of my favorite foods in life. Yes. Bread and butter pickles. Yes. Love them. And the fact they come in a great, big David-sized jar is even better. Right. Love bread and butter pickles. And, you know. Small, little known fact. Yeah. I do not like cucumbers, but I love pickles. Uh, same. No, you know, I like cucumbers. I don't like the seeded. I like seedless. See, the but problem peeled. is all pickles began their life as cucumbers. Why wouldn't I like them? I, I don't, just don't. You know, it's just the way that, what it turns into. But I say. love it when they get pickled. That's right. And, you know, I make my own pickles. I use mason jars. When they sit for six months, they get rusty around there, the mason jar. Yes. So I use this because we all, we're all going to lose strength. We're all going to have, pro eventually, you're going to need some help. <clears throat> but even still, I use that for my mason jars. Even these little guys here, again, if you want to get in, no matter how small it is or how large it is, this will open any lid. Is that rubbing and, alcohol? Rubbing alcohol. And again, you need to get that off, just pop it like so, and you can finish it off like so. so open yeah. it up. Yeah. I, um, I, like millions of Americans, suffer from acid reflux, and so I take an acid reflux medicine I buy oh. over the counter. It always has a foil lid on it. Yep. I'm always poking it and grabbing a pencil and trying to open it up. This is going to be perfect. Yeah, I use that too. And again, you can see here, I mean, I remember my grandmother, I lived five houses down. She would call me up, honey, can you come help grandma with the pickles? So I'd go over and open up her jar of pickles. And what she meant was, can you come open a jar for me? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> help her open the jar. Yeah, I know what she meant. So, But anyway, again, you'll use this all the time. Just twist it on. It's just one of those things every kitchen should have, whether you're opening up sauces, Ooh, medicines. You know what this is? This is a Carolina Gold barbecue sauce. This is mustard based. Yes. Oh, I love this. Love this. That's, I, that was a, a barbecue sauce born in South Carolina. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You're okay with South Carolina. Yeah, well, you know. Okay. I was raised in North Carolina, the more superior Carolina to the North. But um, I appreciate South Carolina. <laughs> All right, this is the black. I also have it in the red. Here we are in green. Don't forget aqua. 
this is great, and the people in South Carolina would say they're far superior to their neighbors to the north. Of course. Yeah, exactly. Of Here's course. brick red. I've got violet. Fewer than 600. If you want tangerine, I have 150 now left to go around. Now 3,000 ordered in this show. So oh, let's, wow. before we open all these, let's just yes. point out again. One, two, and three liter soda bottles all have the same size lid. Yeah. And they're all the devil to get off. Now, bottles, regular beer, birch beer, root beer, club soda, whatever you may have that has a regular bottle top. Mm -hmm. Then a hot sauce or maybe nail polish container, mm -hmm. pop top can, mm -hmm. and any regular jar, glass, or plastic. That's right. And again, three points of contact, that's Swiss engineering. All you do is just lock that on and give it a twist, and it pulls that lid right off of there. If, like so, oh. Here's another one of those, Look David. Look what you've got. Look at that. So if you want, you can pop right into there. Of course, if there's mayo, you may get a little mayo. Yeah, I've got a lot of towel right here. Here's here you go. Top. All right. Number two. Here, we'll keep going. i got a clean one. All right. Uh, the pull tabs. Again, don't break your fingernails getting into those. You know, one of my guilty pleasures, Vienna sausages, I know. And they have pull tabs. When I was a little boy, we, because we could afford it, we would eat potted meat. Oh. You bought three cans for a dollar, and we used to spread it on saltines. Oh, I love it. It's <laughs> kind of gourmet, if you ask me. <laughs> All right, so there's the hot sauce. The hot sauce, and again, a, a church key, always good to have. You need to pop, pop open a, a bottle of beer, ginger beer, soda, whatever that is, that pops that open. And then last but not least, these twists off. Maybe you have greasy hands, fingers, or you just need some help opening that up. It locks onto there, breaks that seal, and everything five in one, and it stores you know what drawer. pot of meat was? It was kind of like deviled ham in a can. Okay. You have, you ever had I've that? had deviled, sure. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. Very similar. Or Probably not quite as fancy. Or spiced ham. Sort of. As they say, spam. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> but delicious. Grew up on it. All right, so here we are. Here's the black. I also have the red, then the green. This is aqua. Don't forget gray. Brick red. If you want the violet, we have fewer than 500 remaining, and this tangerine. I have five dozen left in tangerine. We sell out of any one color, it's gone. We're gonna take it off the table. Almost 4,000 ordered in this show. Many of you are looking at this and saying, I've got one of those drawers that doesn't close in my kitchen because of the whisk and the um, spatula and oh, and maybe, just maybe, there's a jar opener in there. Is it time to replace it with something that will do more than one job? I think so. And more and more cans have these pop tops. Mark Charles yeah. always knows the percentage, and I'm not sure what that is. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. But uh, let's just, uh, let's just guess the number. 68% of cans have pop tops. <laughs> okay. Um, a lot of cans have pop tops is the answer to that question. So yeah. this is going to help just you. What are you looking for? Uh, one more. I just wanted to run down the line real quick, again, and show you what, what each of these does, because this is going to solve that problem of opening up jars and bottles. It's a five in one. I'll do it real quick. Again, all you have to do is just turn this. It grips onto there. So as long as that's on there, if you could pick it up, you know it's on there. You twist it, it'll pop that lid and off. That's like also so. um, vacuum sealed, so it breaks the vacuum seal. That's right, it breaks the vacuum seal. That's the hardest part. Okay, number two, pop top lids, or pull top lids, I should say. Just put that on there, give it a pull back, and it opens that. Number three, small bottles, nail polish, hot sauces. Just twist that. You don't even have to take the plastic off. It pops the plastic off for you. Number four, those bottles that are like so, that's called a church key. We mm -hmm. learned earlier because it resembles the old iron church keys. Right. What do they call it that? And then number five, these twist off pop tops, are, are, are twist off plastic tops, and you just twist it. All five in one. Every kitchen should have one. You'll use it all the time. All right, we've got one final color update for you. Here's the black. I also have the red, green, aqua, gray, brick red, violet, and we just sold out of tangerine. Oh. So tangerine is gone. Hey, we're going to invite everyone to stay on the line. Don't dare hang up. Order as many as you're going to need and whatever colors you want. We've got them for you, and now's the time to get them at that great low QVC price. Chef Jeremy, you're coming back a little later? Yes, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, looking forward to that. Something sharp. In the meantime, we're going to continue our month-long theme of Don't Go Bacon My Heart. Don't go bacon my heart.